Hello and welcome back to the animation course on Swamook platform. In this session, we will learn about the production pipeline of 3D animation using Autodesk Maya application. Animation is a field of art or science that has the capability to impart life to non-living characters. Basically, it is based on the phenomenon of persistence of vision that allows the visual illusion to the objects. So in single line, we can say animation is the illusion of motion. 3D animation has become a vital part in film, television and the video games. And it is becoming an integral part of other industry that may not have found it all that useful at first. Fields such as medicine, architectural and even forensic are now using the 3D animation. In addition to use for entertainment purpose, it is considered as a form of art. It is an art that is often displayed and celebrated in the film festival all over the world. It is also used commonly for educational purpose as it has a big place in the learning and instructional application. To really understand the science of 3D animation, you must understand the mathematics behind it. 3D animation consists of varying properties of a three-dimensional scene defined in a numeric quantities. A 3D model can change properties such as position, rotation, scaling and the surface sterilization. An animated 3D scene is defined by the change of these scientific properties through time. We can do the animation with several methodology. Some are traditional animation. In traditional animation, illustrators draw picture on a straightforward bit on a paper fitted onto the light box utilizing by the color pencils. Animators usually test animations with rough drawings to see how many frames they would need for the animation. The animation process of traditional animation is time taken and expensive also. Once the drawings and cleanups and in between frames are completed, the production would move on to the capturing each individual sketches. But nowadays traditional animation can be done on a computer pen tablet and it doesn't require the photography of each and individual frames. There are several applications available into the industry which you can use for the traditional animation purpose. For example, TV Paint. It is a French animation software. Second, you can use the Toon Boom Harmony. Toon Boom Harmony offer a user-friendly set of animation program that has capability for advanced rigging system, effects and also camera tools. You can use the Adobe Photoshop also. Usually, Photoshop is often overlooked when considering as an animation software, but it is really powerful drawing capability which makes it a great choice for frame by frame Disney style animation. Second methodology, you can go with the 2D vector based animation. The 2D vector based animation is used when referring to the traditional hands-on animation with integration of computer vector animation that adopts the technique of traditional animation. 2D vector based animation means the computer generated 2D animation. It uses the same workflow as traditional animation, but it gives you the benefit from the lack of physical item needed to make the traditional 2D animation with availability to the computer interpolation to the same time. You can use the Adobe Animate earlier the Flash software or Toon Boon Harmony for 2D vector based animation. Then third option of animation could be motion graphics. Motion graphics is a quite different from the other type of animation. It is not character or a story driven animation. It is the art and the science of creatively moving and animating the graphics, element or text. It is usually for visual presentation or explainer video or the commercial advertisement or it could be used for the promotional purpose also. Adobe After Effects is the most common software for 2D motion graphics. 
but for 3D motion graphics, generally you can use the Cinema 4D or the Autodesk Max application. Next animation option could be the stop motion. Stop motion animation is also referred as the cutout animation or clay animation. Stop motion is done by taking the photo of the object and then moving just a little bit with a new pose or position and taking another photographs, then process repeat it simultaneously and when the photos play back into the sequence, it gives an illusion of motion called animation. And next and most advanced technology is 3D computer animation. 3D computer animation is also referred as a CGI or computer graphics imagery. There is a famous quote by John Lasseter, computers doesn't create the computer animation and any more than pencil creates pencil animation. What creates computer animation is the artist. The animation is completely different than traditional animation. The 3D animation requires an understanding of the same principle of movement and composition. But they also require the technical skill while traditional animation requires you being an amazing draftsman but the 3D computer animation doesn't. 3D animation is more similar to playing with a puppet rather than a drawing. There are a number of other distinct processes that require to produce a computer animation. Often, this must be accomplished in a specific order and this is called the pipeline. There are three stages of animation production pipeline. First is the pre-production, second is the production and third one is the post-production. In pre-production stage, we do planning about the story, concept, character. The pre-production team will take its time to make sure to tell an engaging story with interesting characters. So in pre-production stage, our entire planning stage should be executed. After completion of pre-production stage, now it's a time to the production stage. So in production stage, we do create the 3D elements for movies, games or videos. There are seven main stages of animation production pipeline. First is the modeling. In modeling, we do the model as per reference which we had created into the pre-production stage. So, by default, when we do any model in any 3D application, usually it's generated into the gray color. After modeling the stage, it's required to put some colors onto that model and that is called the texturing. So, in texturing, with the help of UV, what we do, we do wrap a texture into the model and after completion of texturing, now it's a time to do some light onto the model. So in lighting stage, there are several lights available into the 3D application. Usually it's a Omini, a spotlight, directional light, point light and all. So with the help of these lights, we create a scene aesthetics look and feel development of our model. So after completion of modeling and texturing and lighting, now it's a time to do the bone setup into the model. So bone setup is the process or we can say the rigging is the process where we do add the bones into the model for the movement of the character. When our character bone setup or the rigging pipeline has been completed, now it's a time to move our character as per the requirement of movie or the scene. So it's a called the animation or in a simple term, we can say animation is the illusion of motion, any kind of movement, what we are seeing into the real world or we can say into the television or the computer screen, it could be part of animation. After completion of animation, now it's a time to add some secondary motion or we can say secondary animation. For example, hair and fur, clothes, water simulation, fire simulation and all. These are a category of dynamics or FX pipeline. After completion of dynamics, now it's a time to convert entire 3D data into 
or image sequence or into the video form. So with the help of camera available into the 3D application, we convert entire data into the image sequence or into the movie. After completion of rendering, now it's a time to push production stage. So in push production stage, we do merge the 3D elements for the movies, games, videos to the live action footages. There are two main stages of animation post-production pipeline. First is the compositing and last one is the editing. So in editing stage, finally we do cut the movie, the footage as per the requirement of the story timeline of the movie. Now it's time to get to know about the Maya history, future and their application using into the industry. So in next session, we will learn about the same.